world champion, representing Palm Springs, California, Desert Storm, Timothy Bradley. Man, you're working hard today. I know, and I, I can't eat. Geez, I gotta sweep up afterwards, too. It's not pretty. All right. Gentlemen, let's go. All right, there's the line right there, right in the middle of the swoosh. There's the line, it's right at the edge right there. It's great. 12 rounds for the championship. WBO, welterweight of the world. Touch them up, good luck. Come out of the bell. Top rank, Tim Bradley's promoter, hopes that this fight is the start of an informal welterweight-ish tournament involving Juan Manuel Marquez, Manny Pacquiao, the winner of Rios and Alvarado, and the winner here tonight. Veteran referee Pat Russell in the ring. And here comes Provodnikov trying to get low and get into a position where he can possibly get at Bradley's body. We struggled in the fighter meeting yesterday to define Tim Bradley's fighting style and ultimately came to the point of saying, well, it's an athletic style. He can adjust to just about whatever the other guy might do some way or another in the fight. He's not really a boxer puncher. He's not a puncher. He's definitely not a brawler. He's not really a pure boxer. He's a guy who has the athletic skill to do just about anything at any given moment. He's boxing's Tim Tebow. He always wins. <laughs> With some better craft than Tebow. <laughs> You know, he gained a lot of respect. I got, a, I gained a lot of respect for him uh, yesterday in the fighter meeting because it's not often that you see a guy go through the biggest fight of his career and then get treated the way that he was treated afterwards. But it shows you that he is one of the most honest guys in the sport of boxing. Dream up. Stop. And graceful. Stop. And yes. straightforward. And at the Step end of the day, a real man. And I have to say I love him for that. Bradley tries, I think, to be a boxer puncher, but just isn't a big puncher. Um, but he does hit hard enough to keep guys honest. And he's a pit bull. You know, he once he locks on, try to shake him loose. Rabudnikov giving as good as he gets in that exchange. First 30 seconds of the fight were mostly Bradley. Watch the heads. Rabudnikov has gotten in a couple of good body shots and one big knock upstairs. In the last 45 seconds, there's another left hook. There's Bradley's left hook, twice in a row. This High action fight. Turned into a pit bull fight for real. Two pit bulls. <laughs> well, Provodnikov has to have that in him, or else Freddie Roach wouldn't Watch have used him as a sparring partner getting Pacquiao ready for Bradley. That's exactly right. Real good action. Talk about uh, an honest guy and a real man. Ruslan Provodnikov's only loss was to Mauricio Herrera. A lot of ringsiders felt as though it was a bad decision and he won the fight. Provodnikov says, no, no, that's not true. Don't take credit away from Herrera. Oh, he outsmarted me and Big won right it. hand. Big right hand by Provodnikov. And Bradley is not going to be charged with a knockdown. And even though he falls back on his back while trying to get up, Pat Russell rules it a slip, not a knockdown. Bradley's been on the deck before, memorably twice against Kendall Holt, got up to win that fight. Provodnikov's a good puncher. He was knocked down once early and once late against Holt, and he has been ripped by Provodnikov in the last 30 seconds of the first round, and I think he's very lucky, very lucky that Pat Russell didn't rule this a knockdown. Hey, I told you not to fucking get careless in there, man. Okay? Now, what did I tell you about the first two second round? First and second round. Okay, come on. Hey. Hey, Tim. Hey, I told you to. I told you to box this fucking guy. Don't worry about it. Right? Hey. Wait, hey, wait till he wears down a little bit, and then you want to get inside. Okay? Don't worry Here. about Tim. Keep doing, okay? Wait up, Jackson. Wait up, wait up. Okay. Tim, hey, you gotta be fucking smart, dude. I told you the first two fucking rounds. 
Here you see Provodnikov come right over the jab with the overhand right. Tim was throwing the overhand right, a right hand at the same time. What a great shot. Once again, right over the top of the jab, you see Provodnikov come with that good overhand right. Very short punch. Hurt Timothy Bradley pretty bad. That should have put him to sleep, Roy. Yeah, it should have, but Timothy Bradley has one good chin on him. We already knew that. Happy box numbers in round one. What a round. Bradley 27 of 74. Provodnikov 24 of 69. Provodnikov had 14 power shots landed in the last minute of the round. Bradley may still be just a little woozy as the second round begins. Bradley came out in that first round with something to prove, and it may have worked against him. Provodnikov all but grinning at him through the mouth guard. Little lateral foot movements keeping Bradley out of trouble here. But now he gets rocked again by right hand. And he's hurt again. He's trying to fight his way through it and taking another right hand and still standing up. Bradley has no answer for that little looping right hand on the inside, Roy. Yes, he does. He got his own right in. hand. Another right hand lands for Provodnikov. They are trading shots. Balls. That's what a fight. Bradley's trying to get away from it by going right, but when he leans there too long, he's still in the path of that right hand. But he's landed some of his own right hands, too. And I think he may have hurt Provodnikov that time. Left hook lands for Provodnikov. Gets Bradley into the corner. Stalking, stalking. Bradley firing shots of his own. Or should be fighting straight up in that corner like that. Though. Oh, oh. Neither man is hard to find. Bradley eats another big left hand. Huge shot. And that's another slip. No knockdown. As Provodnikov tried to fly at it. Bradley's looking to really land something big, but it's Provodnikov that's doing the hurting here. And Bradley is standing up straight, Roy. Yeah, he's getting hurt because he's standing so straight up. I don't like to see him standing this straight up. He's, he's really out on his feet right now. Yep. It appears that if it's going to be a phone booth One fight, shot gonna finish Provodnikov him. is the stronger man. Yep. By standing straight up, he's also a sitting duck for the sweeping left hook. That's exactly right. And Provodnikov is getting hurt too, though. Provodnikov is hurt himself right now. Trust me. What a fight. Both of these guys are hurt right now. Oh, they're going to play Both fighters are badly hurt right now. 20 seconds left in the round. Can Provodnikov find the answer to getting Bradley off his feet? Bradley has no legs. Provodnikov misses twice. And he's gonna make it out of the round. You're catching him in the exchanges. Keep bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving, throwing those hooks. Bruce, how are we doing? Round three. Oh. They were hurting one another in that round. Happy box numbers in the round. Bradley, 28 out of 80. Provodnikov, 38 out of 97. Provodnikov with a big edge and power shots. Now here comes Bradley as the third round begins. And I can guarantee you that Bradley's in a better position right now because this is the type of fight that he's used to. Elaborate on that, Roy. Well, he's the type of guy that wants a fight to get late where everybody gets tired. He has more heart than most people that ever think about coming into the boxing ring. So And more stamina. Uh, so a late fight is great for him. With Provodnikov being a big puncher, his trainer had told him to go a few rounds first, let him burn off some of that powerful steam that he has, then boxing with this is why. 
Right, Bradley feels that if it comes down heart to heart, he's got an advantage. Well, that's his best opportunity because this guy is so strong. But Vodnikov has not been in many big fights as Bradley has or has been in the distance as many times as Bradley has. But then there's the reality if Bradley keeps getting caught with that right hand and then stands straight up for the hook, he can have the biggest heart in the world. Yeah, but, but, now he seems to be, yeah, but now he seems to be settling back down to himself. And what we also have to realize is that Bradley's been off for 10 months. You know what I'm saying? So to take a fight like this out, off, after, off of a 10-month layoff says a lot about Bradley to me, too. Rabotnikov threw 97 punches in the second round and has fought the third round as though he's arm weary. Exactly, because he's not used to throwing that many punches, and Timothy Bradley was also hitting him during those exchanges. Yeah, Bradley came out this round, it looked, let me keep this guy off me, let me set him straight early in the round and then worry about boxing. And Bradley is clearly going to the body. Provodnikov is not really going to the body at all. This has been a vacation round for Ruslan Provodnikov. Probably trying to look for one big shot, hasn't found it. Bradley realizes now that Provodnikov is arm weary and isn't throwing and takes advantage of all this to step up his own activity level and begin to score. And this is the time that uh, Max is speaking about. We really find out how bad Timothy Bradley wants to win. This is where other fighters find out what it really means to want to win. Yeah, most fighters who ever lived are knocked out already <laughs> with those shots Provodnikov was landing. And Provodnikov looks like he's wondering right now, how in the world is this guy still in front of me? Probably is. <laughs> There's some fans in the arena who are wondering how he's still there. His name is not Desert Storm for no reason. A clearly exhausted Ruslan Provodnikov simply walks around the ring in round number three, and Bradley easily wins it. The way you box, that's the way. Hey, you feel better now? Okay, you run into some fucking problems in there, man. We can't do this shit. Wondered about Provodnikov after a round in which he only threw 15 punches. Remember, 97 punches thrown in the preceding round. Only landed two punches in that round. Bradley was 21 of 56. Harold, how did you score the first three? <laughs> okay, Jim, I got it two rounds to one. 29-28, Ruslan Provodnikov. He, he clearly won the first two rounds. Great rounds. Timothy Bradley was out on his feet. I'm amazed he stayed up. He's got a big heart, a lot of guts. He endured the first two rounds. Provetnikov just looked on weary like he called it in round three. Easy fight to score. Two, two to one, Provetnikov. It is easy, Harold, but no 10-8 for Provetnikov? <laughs> Has to be a 10-8. You're saying the second round is a 10-8, right, oh Max? Oh, Bradley was, uh, was a, a mo several moments away from being stopped. I mean, out on his oh. feet. Another right hand for Provodnikov. This one Bradley takes very well. Pat Russell stopped Rios Alvarado. I don't know that Alvarado was in worse condition than Bradley was. Pat Russell might have given Bradley a break by not ruling a knockdown in round one here. All right, free up those hands. You don't need me. Free him up. Good body work by Bradley. Rabotnikov still doesn't seem in a position to pull the trigger here as Bradley is beating him to the punch, beating him to the punch. Sometimes fighting as a southpaw in the middle of the ring. Three hands, three up. Three hands, watch your heads. Three hands. Rabotnikov catches Bradley again. They trade right hands. Provodnikov is a serious puncher when he does punch. It, on the inside, see Bradley leans on his right foot and provides a sitting duck for that Provodnikov right hand. Oh, good shot. Good uppercut by Bradley. Follows up to the right hand. Good body shots by Timothy Bradley. Whipping Provodnikov face to face now. Free him up. Free hands, 
Let him go, Tim. There's another right hand for Provodnikov. Bradley managed to roll with that punch and limit the impact. Well, they don't have the same steam on them as they had before, Jim. Top of the bell. Oh, good shot. Good body work. Excellent body rally at the end of the round by Bradley. Okay, now he's moving into your right hand. The only hand right is going to be the first shot. Wow, with a beautiful right uppercut. And he follows it, I think, with another jab or two. With a hook, rather. And a right uppercut. Talk about Bradley's stamina. He had a very busy round in round four, throwing 107 punches, landing 48 of them. Probudnikov was only 12 of 37. The Bradley has warmed up now, is into the fight, and begins to fight at his pace, rather than what happened in the first couple of rounds when Probudnikov was dictating to him based on those huge power shots he landed repeatedly. The longer the fight goes, the better it is for Tim Bradley. Always. Yes. Every night. Yes, and, and in this particular fight, it gives him an opportunity to work the rust off. Because he has to be rusty uh, uh, off of a 10-month layoff. Bradley's made some adjustments to take some of this thing off Provodnikov's punches on the inside. He gets inside the power a little bit, Roy, it looks like. And then on the outside, he keeps his distance. And he's making Provodnikov keep his hands at home by throwing the small pity pad punches. Which is very smart, smart for Tim Bradley. The right hand for Bradley. Oh, good, good hook left Bradley. hook. Bradley's playing with fire when he goes to the corner like that. You gotta realize too though, Bradley has a nine pound weight advantage right now. So his punches have to be uh, having some effect on Provodnikov. I think he's slowing Provodnikov down round to round. He's doing it with body shots, with greater activity, with carefully chosen shots upstairs, fighting much smarter than he did in the first couple of rounds. Much smarter. He's fighting with the typical Timothy Bradley will that just refuses to give. And refuses to lose. Nobody told Propotnikov it was going to be this hard. He's like he's in there with a termite that won't stop biting. <laughs> Series of uppercuts by Bradley as they once again go into a phone booth the way the first couple of rounds were fought. Right hand lands again for Probudnikov. Oh, good shot. Real good hook to the body and Probudnikov is hurt from that punch. Hurt His bad. right elbow is now planted down there. And he visibly kind of deflated when the shot landed. Yeah, dude. Stop the bell. We've seen a strong rally by Timothy Bradley in rounds three, four, and five after he placed himself in severe jeopardy in rounds one and two. Earlier tonight, or expecting that body shot Thank you. off of the head shot. Bradley in the fifth round threw 118 punches after he had thrown more than 100 in the preceding round. He landed 47 of them. Provetnikov was 19 of 54. So Timothy Bradley, after a relatively slow start tonight, has put on a show in the last couple of rounds, throwing more than 100 punches in both rounds and landing close to 50. Something else Timothy Bradley starting to do in this round is step around Provodnikov just enough to keep Provodnikov's hands at home, as you say, Roy. Yep, and to keep him from setting so easily on his hard punches. Good body shot. Timothy Bradley's wife, Kathleen, and his mother, or excuse me, his wife, Monica, and his mother, Kathleen, 
were seated at ringside. You caught a glimpse of them at the end of the first round. Since then, they have left their front row seats and disappeared from where they were sitting in the arena. Maybe it was a little chilly, or maybe it was a little violent. We'll see if we can find out. Well, I think it was a little violent. Oh, good shot. Don't push. Well, perhaps somebody should go find mom and wife and say, hey, as of round six, all is well. You're exactly right. Bradley has restored order in the fight. No elbows. He has. He's taken over the fight, but Provodnikov remains dangerous. He, he's, he's throwing some hard, hard shots. But just the sheer activity level, Bradley's ability to throw and throw and throw is wearing Provodnikov down. It sure is. When Evander Holyfield was in his prime, you hit him and hurt him. You'd see that mouthpiece come out. And that meant you were in trouble. <laughs> and, and Tim Bradley is the same kind of guy. Good right on the work. belt line. Right on the belt line. Now Timothy Brand is boxing very smartly. Oh. Here comes Robotnikov again, and he caught Bradley with that right hand again. And Timothy Bradley reaches out and holds on. Yeah, he's hurt again. Yeah, his back he's was to us. Bad. We can't see what landed. Yeah, he's hurt bad. But he looks like he did in that second round. Oh. oh, another right hand, and another right hand. He don't need to be trained like this. Look at this. Look at this. Provodnikov's trying to take his measure. I mean, <laughs> whoa, what is Timothy Bradley made of? Steel. <laughs> Steel. They're putting on an amazing show. Freddie, how's your fighter doing? He's doing okay. He's okay. He's still okay, in. All right. Yeah, yeah. We're starting to get a little attrition. I'm watching both. Okay. Right, not here. What is that? What's that? He go. Provodnikov landed a beautiful left hook. Cover war. You couldn't ask for a better fight. Do people understand? Bradley was out on his feet doing that. I'll tell you what, it's not the biggest crowd I've ever seen, but it's the luckiest crowd I've ever seen. There couldn't be a knowledgeable fight fan here Keep who expected to see what he's seen so far. This has been an all-out war in what was expected to be a boxing match. Bradley was 38 out of 103 in that round. Robotnikov, 34 out of 84. Each landed 31 power shots. In the last 20 seconds of that round, Robotnikov got himself back into the fight. Harold, how do you have it through six? <laughs> Chip! Three rounds apiece, 57-57, all even. Ruslan Provendikov definitely won the first two rounds, Watch and certainly hands. he hurt Timothy Bradley in elbow, round Jim. six to win round yeah, six. Yeah. You know, Jim, what catches the eye of the judges is when Timothy Bradley gets hurt, his head snaps back. You know, I mean, you can see it. On the other hand, when Provendikov gets hit with the right hand, his head don't snap back. He just stands there and takes it. He is a man, a great six right, round by Provendikov, three rounds apiece. And I'm being told by the producers in our truck that between rounds, Joel Diaz, Timothy Bradley's trainer, threatened to stop the fight if Bradley wouldn't listen to him. He said, you are not paying attention to what I'm telling you, and if you keep taking these risks and getting hit like that, I'll stop it. Well, he better get ready to stop it because Bradley ain't listening. <laughs> and it's not that he's really not listening. Provodnikov won't allow him to listen. Because just as I was saying, Bradley was fighting a smart fight, and he was moving left and right to not allow Provodnikov to set. He be, he stopped moving. And then Provodnikov caught him with a left hook. Yeah, but I don't think for a second Diaz is going to stop the fight. And I don't think Bradley thinks for a second that Diaz is going to stop the fight. <laughs> nah. Diaz is right. Provodnikov might be able to stop it if he can land another one of those crunching right hands or left hooks, which have had Bradley in trouble several times. Well, Diaz is right because... 
fighters pay lip service. They're going to have to take me out in a stretcher to beat me. But Bradley means that. And he has way too much heart for one person. And he's taking awful punishment in this fight, even though he's very much in it. That's why we fight. We got more heart than the average person. Well, it's a fan's dream. Harold Letterman's scorecard is even through six. Both guys have had spectacular moments. Both faces are beginning to be marked. Both corners are working hard. Pat Russell is going back and forth across the ring between rounds, looking at both fighters to see if one or the other is too compromised to keep going. It's a whale of a show. It was the first round, by the way, that Bradley almost hook. got knocked out in. The first round, and he's been fighting like hell ever since. And the sixth round. And the second. <laughs> Good jab. Good jab. Bradley with blood on his face. Pops Provodnikov down the stretch of that oh, no, round with his jab. Okay, Tim. To take See, command again. That's the way you win the fight, dude. Tim, get his book. Get him up, please. Take a deep breath. That's what we need you to box. Hey, yeah. how we doing? You know what's remarkable about the kinds of power shot punishment that Provodnikov has laid on Timothy Bradley tonight, Roy, is Provodnikov's moving up from 140 pounds. He's the guy who is new to the welterweight division here. Yeah, but he punched it like a middleweight. Tommy Box numbers in the seventh. Bradley 18 of 73, Provodnikov 15 out of 36. Eight jabs connected for Bradley, and you saw that rally down the stretch of the round with the jab that probably won it for him. And he's starting out moving and jabbing good this round. So obviously he's listening to his corner. It's the movement that matters. When he stops and stands still, Provodnikov unloads. Now let's go to Max Kellerman, who is in Tim Bradley's corner with Joel Diaz. Joel, you were talking about stopping the fight in the pre between the previous the, in the corner between the previous rounds. Why? Well, he he gets in there, he gets reckless. He got caught with a good punch, comes to the corner, and you know I noticed he was a little bit a little bit dazed. You know he uh, he told me you know what this guy's strong. I said well don't stay in front of him in exchange. So now he's using a little bit a little bit more footwork. We noticed he is strong. So now we're trying to use some more uh, some more uh, skill instead of power. He wanted to get in there and exchange with him, but no, he's too strong. So now we have to use some uh, some angles on him. Would you really stop the fight knowing what Tim Bradley would do if you stopped the fight? You know what? I care for my fighter. And if I see that he's hurt, and if I see that he comes to the corner hurt, I will stop him before he gets in there and gets hurt in the next round. But you like what you're seeing now? Yes. I will stop my fighter. If he comes to the corner and I see he's hurt, I will not throw him in there for him to get hurt again. But you want him to box this way now? Now I want him to box like that. I don't want him to, to let him sit. I want him to keep moving in angles and counter. Counter off of him. Don't let him work. Thanks, Joe. A lot of the talking prior to this fight, a lot of the taunting and, and the competitive talk that was part of the buildup was done by the trainer. Freddie Roach and Joel Diaz. Freddie Roach was trying to get under Bradley's skin and make Bradley even more uncomfortable. In the vein of the criticism and the disapproval Bradley has experienced since the decision in the Pacquiao fight. And Joel Diaz responded by saying, well, Freddie Roach is done. He's washed up. His fighters don't win anymore. So they probably won't be dining together anytime soon. <laughs> Diaz and Roach. Tell you what, Provodnikov is pretty swollen up now. His face is starting to show wear and tear from those punches from Timothy Bradley. Both eyes are still open and clear. He can see, but that left eye could conceivably swell up as the fight goes on. Tim may want to step around in that direction, counterclockwise. Did more punches. Single best way to get across with judges the way the sport is currently viewed. And Timothy corner. Bradley right now is following the formula. Throwing and landing.
more punches, particularly in the last couple of rounds, as he tries to put distance between himself and Ruslan Privatnikov, who has come close on a few occasions to knocking him down or perhaps out. Oh, he, he did knock him out a couple times. It's just that Bradley <laughs> stayed on his feet and kept throwing punches. Call that a walking knockout. for Tim Bradley. Now how do you make new fans? Get whacked, get punished, show courage, come back. The one thing Provodnikov has not done tonight is go to the body. He hasn't hit Timothy Bradley's body much at all. And Bradley has hit his far more frequently. Because he's so strong. That's a the big difference in the fight. Yeah, that's the smartest way to break a strong guy down is to beat his body. Bradley just brought blood from Provodnikov's left eye. He might have opened up that eyelid, which you saw was he so did. swollen. He yep. did. It's bleeding. Bleeding badly. That there, came man? from a Bradley right hand, and not and, a butt. And we heard Freddie Roach concerned that, that, he, that Provodnikov's taking too many punches. Provodnikov hasn't been really shaken in this fight other than with a body punch. It doesn't look like, but Bradley's hitting him a lot, and, and Freddie's concerned. And Provodnikov seems to feel a sense of urgency now as the blood begins to flow from his left eye. Minute to go in round nine. Good There's body a body shot, shot by Provodnikov. There have been too few of them. Uh, they can say what they want to say about Timothy Brandon, but he just hurt Provodnikov. He just hurt Provodnikov. Another good hand. That's when Provodnikov's dangerous run. You hurt, you hurt Provodnikov really bad then, though. That, that, that blood is really starting to spurt out of the eye. And Provodnikov is hurt, but still throwing bombs like that one. Big left hook by Provodnikov. Oh. And the right hand just misses with the left hook as Bradley backs away. I got to stop punching right there. Stop. Take a step back. He's going to win this fight, but who wants next with Ruslan Provodnikov? He might win. This fight's up in the air still. That is a badly hurt left eye. We're, we're in tough, okay? Let's go. 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 let us go let us go Harold, how do you have it, 3-9? Okay, Jim, 87, 84, six rounds to three, Timothy Bradley. He's won three rounds in a row. He's busted a guy up, six to three, Bradley. And now Max Kellerman is in the corner with Freddie Roach. So let's go over there and see what Freddie thinks about Provodnikov's progress. Freddie, what do you see in this fight right now? We're hitting this guy once in a while and, and hurting him, but the thing is, he just out, he's out, out scoring us, out, out boxing us right now, and I'm I'm close to stopping the fight. You're close to stopping it. Is that because you feel your fighter is being damaged? Yeah, he's taking a lot of shots, and I'm real, I'm a little worried about him. But I mean, he every time I think about it, and then he, he comes he comes back with a combination, and he puts himself back in back in the, back in the fight. Are you worried about the cut or about the punches to the head he's taken? Too many punches. Thanks, Freddie. And I agree with Freddie on that. You agree with Freddie? Yes. The guy's starting to take a little bit too many punches. He, at first, uh, Bradley really couldn't hurt him. But in that last round, Timothy Bradley hit him with an overhand right that hurt him really, really bad. Oh, good body Ooh. shot by Provodnikov. Really good shot. Just goes to show Bradley's the guy who's been staggering around the ring at various times. And in Provodnikov's corner, they're thinking of stopping it just like in Bradley's corner. This is a brutal fight. High punishment fight for both fighters. 
I don't know if Provodnikov knew that he signed up for this, though. Well, Provodnikov had many chances. Chances he created for himself with big punches. When the fight is over, we're going to go back to the first round, watch the action with our rules interpretation expert, Steve Weisfeld, and ask Steve whether he thinks Pat Russell should have ruled a knockdown in the first round. Not, whether, whether not, not it appears that it would have ultimately influenced the outcome because Bradley is pulling away on the scorecards now, or so you would think. Whether or not he ruled, I don't know, I'm not sure about the scorecards. If I were a judge, I'd have given Provodnikov a 10-8 round, clearly. Whether or not he goes down, he was badly hurt. Yep. That's an extra point in my view. Right hand lands for Provodnikov. Doesn't yeah. have quite as much mustard on those shots as was the case in the first few rounds, though. No, but Provodnikov has some heart. Oh, they both do. Big yes, left sir. hook for Provodnikov. We knew, we knew Timothy Bradley did, but we didn't know Provodnikov had one, too. A sensational fight in Carson, California. Okay. Bruce Lynn. We need to knock this guy out to win. We want to knock out to win. Okay. Now you go out there and show me you can do that this round right now. Show me you can do that or I'm going to stop the fight. Freddie Roach issues a mandate to his fighter. You have to show me in this round. Back. It's worthy of staying in the fight. You mentioned win or lose, who wants next with Provodnikov, Jim? Fight fans. Fight fans Absolutely. want next with Provodnikov. Absolutely. Bring him back. He heard Freddie, he's trying to go to work. And Timothy Bradley very smartly attacked his body right away. Right, smartly, because when a guy comes out with renewed vigor, the fastest way to take it out of him is go to his body. Right back to that body. Good body shot. Four body shots by Bradley. Hammering Robotnikov around the waistband. to take the last few ounces of steam out of Provodnikov. Oh, good shot. Big left hook by Provodnikov. Bradley grabs and holds again. We better get out off those ropes and out of that corner. This is where Bradley gets in trouble when he starts trading like this with him. Yeah, it is. But I don't know if uh, Provodnikov really can hurt him anymore. Huh. I wouldn't doubt that Provodnikov can. He's consistently shown the ability to do it throughout this fight. Yeah, but I think Bradley's starting to hurt him more than he's hurting Bradley now. begins to flow from the left eye again. Although cutman David Martinez did an excellent job between rounds. Right hand over the top for Provodnikov. Roy, no, 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 even no, now no. as Bradley gets the better of it, it feels to me as though Provodnikov's hurting Bradley with everything, jabs no, and everything. No, he's not hurting him at all now because he's hitting him high on the head. The punches high on the head do, do not bother Bradley much at all. It's the ones right on the chin that are bothering him. And Provod Provodnikov has not hit him on the chin this complete round. Seems to be moving Bradley pretty good with all those shots. That's another way Bradley compares to Evander Holyfield. Big stop. Come on, dude. Come here. Come here. Both of you. Touch him up, buddy. All right, let's go. 
Copy box numbers entering the last round. Bradley's landed 337 of 940 shots. Rabotnikov 203 out of 611. So Bradley has the numerical advantages, probably has a lead on the scorecards, in my personal view. You heard Joel Diaz tell Timothy Bradley, he's gonna come try to knock you out. You need to show him that he can. Vodnikov's also shown the ability to hurt Bradley on the way in. Not just when Bradley's exchanging like this. Good left hook by Bradley. Amazing display of heart by both fighters. Tim you Brad don't see many better fights. Tim Bradley is the definition of a champion. You better believe it. And if Provodnikov wants to win this fight, he's got to be a champion right now. Yep. Well, Provodnikov may not look like a champion tomorrow, but he's sure going to look like a fighter. And the crowd begins to chant Bradley Bradley. He's won some fans here tonight, that's for sure. Body shots by Bradley. Provodnikov nails him upstairs. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. We've seen Bradley survive what should have been multiple knockouts in this fight. You okay? Let's change his strategy. Brawl when he had to, box when he had fight. to. Show multi dimension to his game. Just an amazing fighter. Oh, big left hook by Kravatnikov. He got him again. Bradley almost went down. Somehow stayed up. Oh, oh, oh. I got it. The heart of a champion, son. Well, that was a left hook of a champion from Provodnikov. Knocked Bradley all the way across what the ring. What a moment. A right hand by Provodnikov. Bradley better hold here. 30 seconds to go. He better hold. Bradley reaches out and grabs. His legs are almost gone. <laughs> One shot could put him down here. And out. Oh. There's a right hand that lands again. One more time. Better hold him. Provodnikov is dead tight, though. The ropes keep Bradley up. He might down. That's a knockdown. Two. That is a knockdown. Three, but four, the clock is going to bring five, it into the fight. Six, if Bradley can get up and stay seven. up. Hey, come here. You all right? Let's go. Five. Unbelievable. It's a wow. Rocky movie. That was Rocky. Wow. What a spectacular fight. What an amazing performance. And the level of mutual respect has to be going through the roof for these two fighters. What a war. Was that knockdown enough to win Provodnikov a decision? And Provodnikov knocks Bradley down in the last round and narrows the scorecards with a 10-8 round. Anything is possible. All right, very quickly, before we get the final decision, let's go back to round one and quickly look at what happened in round one to see whether Probudnikov might have deserved a knockdown in that round as well. Steve Weisfeld is our rules interpretation expert. Steve, take us through it. Uh, Jim, you see that uh, Bradley got hit by a big right hand. There's a delay here. And a few seconds later, Bradley goes down, and the referee, the referee certainly could have ruled that a knockdown, but he didn't, and a judge can't call it a knockdown on his own. I actually scored the first two rounds 10-9 uh, for Provodnikov, and I'd be surprised if all... Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled 12 rounds, we go to the scorecard to determine a winner. Judges Denkin and Cantu. Turn in identical scorecards of 114 to 113. And Judge Geis Sr. scores it. 115 to 112. All three in favor of the winner. By way of unanimous decision. And still, WBO 
welterweight champion of the world, Desert Storm, Timothy.